What an honor. A few months ago, I felt so fortunate to be nominated, but now to win the ACAM Key Account Manager of the Year Award for 2019, it is truly humbling. To me, the work that we do as Key Account Managers is unique, and our roles allow us really to drive change in meaningful ways. But as you all know all too well, it can be a challenging business discipline. So to have opportunities like this one, to highlight our work, share ideas and best practices with one another, and to build strong networks across our profession is truly fantastic. So thank you, Diana, and the ACAM leadership for your inspiring dedication and passion to elevate and promote key account management for your unparalleled expertise and knowledge that you bring to this organization and our profession daily. I'm particularly grateful to you all for creating this platform with this award. It gives us an opportunity to promote key account management across industries and to be recognized for it. So thank you, ACAM. And lastly, I think that any award given to an individual who is a part of a team is really an award for the whole team. So I want to thank my Pfizer Internal Medicine Key Account Management leaders, Chris Powell, Kate Walsh, and Katina Owens, for their outstanding support and shaping of key account management as a strategic platform. They help to make the work fun and engaging and meaningful every single day. So I feel like this award is for the Pfizer CAM leadership team as much as it is for me, because their leadership is the root of our accomplishments in our organization. And I really want to thank my cross-functional partners who helped to make this win happen. They are a remarkable team of talented individuals, and they're dedicated to working together towards a mutual goal. So being this year's recipient is something that I cherish, and it is a sincere privilege to accept it. I'm grateful and honored. So my cross-functional team and I work together to partner with one of the largest health systems in the United States with the goal of helping more patients quit smoking. Tobacco use is the number one cause of preventable death. And as a chronic condition, smoking is a major cause of cardiovascular disease, causing one out of every three deaths. Despite this, smoking rates in the southeastern part of the United States remain as high as 25% in some areas. But we know that quitting smoking can be very difficult. Even complicating this is that health systems have not widely elevated smoking cessation as an organizational level priority for care improvement efforts. And most health systems are doing something to encourage smoking cessation, but few are doing everything they can to support patients in their quit journey. Our cross-functional team sought out and leveraged a number of customer and market insights with key stakeholders internal and external to the account. This included everything from the president of the health system to regional market medical leads and many other influencers, all in effort to build alignment and create a plan that focused on meaningful change for the health system, for the patients they serve, and for Pfizer. Through our multi-year partnership, we developed a unique team of different functions, various disciplines in the health system, and several subject matter experts in Pfizer to achieve a mutual goal, which is to get more patients to quit smoking. Through our integrated work, the health system first elevated smoking cessation as one of their top three organizational priorities, which resulted in more resource allocation, time, and attention from the health system leadership. Second, they standardized a smoking cessation care pathway across 560 medical clinics and 16 hospitals. And third, they supported the implementation of electronic health record resources as well as new patient and staff resources into an internal training curriculum. And the results have been striking, and that makes all the work so worth it. As a result of this increased focus in patient engagement, the health system has seen a measured decline, equating to thousands of patients becoming smoke-free as they seek to achieve the stretch goal in the health system, which is 90% non-smoker status for their patient population. Also, the benefit for society is wide and significant. The market expansion is a gain for Pfizer as well. My first piece of advice to you is don't hesitate 
ACAM has made the nomination process very smooth, clear, incredibly easy. So I encourage all eligible ACAM members to consider four easy things as you think about entering the contest. First, you're most likely doing outstanding work on a daily basis anyway. You probably have a lot of knowledge and expertise to offer, so share it. This recognition is a terrific opportunity to showcase your great work and help us all learn from one another. Second, take a few minutes to reflect on your body of work. Think about your progress, what's been accomplished, what's the impact, what customer behavior, approach, or process, or strategy has improved as a result of your partnership and an initiative. And then what opportunity have you been able to create or leverage as a result? Third, as you reflect over this body of work, jot down things that stand out, whether it's a critical milestone, a tipping point that mattered the most to the progress of your initiative, number of different things. And if you get stuck, it brings me to the final step, number four, which is reaching out to your cross-functional partners. Lean on them. Ask your teammates what they think has made a real difference in an initiative, because their input and perspectives are so valuable, and you might be surprised what you learn. Once again, thank you to ACAM and to the Pfizer leadership. I am grateful for this cherished recognition, and all the best to those of you enjoying Berlin today.